today I want to talk about. Please help the stranger to invite others into the room. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. These 14 people over here. Hello, how you doing? Hey, Blue Strip. I haven't seen you in a minute. Y'all tap your screen so other people. How's the nest in the car? <laughs> Perfect. After I get off a of live, I'm going to go out there and sit next to the um, bird. It's a morning dove. It has two eggs in the nest in the car. So. I've been using another car to get around, but it's perfect. It's a beautiful thing. And that mama, she sits there faithfully on top of that dirt car. I moved it, and the mom, it was almost like she wanted to kill me. I moved the car with the nest on there because I had to go drop off some orders. And she turned her head and looked at me like, oh, you mean? <laughs> and I'm like, it's my car now. <laughs> so I felt guilty and I left the car alone. I left the car after that. But everything, um, everything perfect. <laughs> hey, hey. Hey, Silas Johnson. If I'm saying that right, y'all tap the screen. Oh, we got to 1,000 likes over here. Could we, could we get to 100 likes over here with these 27 people over here? Can we get to 100 likes at least? I know that's the smaller page. That's my new page. God is just be healthy, but they got people over there. So y'all tap the screen over there too. I'm live on two pages today. God is just be where I really talk about mindfulness mostly over the, here on this page. And God is just be healthy where I talk about health and wellness. Y'all tap the screen. Oh, oh, oh y'all fast. I look back up. It was at 151. Thank you. Well, 131. Thank y'all. A mother's protection. You right about that. Oh, you took your sustained detox. You put it in the jail uh, capsules because you know it's really, really bitter. Yeah, I got to replenish. Somebody asked me, when am I stocking up? So I'm going to probably end up stocking up um, when I get off this live. Yeah, I'm going to stock up on my um, sustain, my um, my lotion. And um, what else I got to stock up on? Oh, and the alchemist oil. Those are the things that's been selling so much. So yeah, mirror your screen. Yeah, I don't know how, but I learned something. I learned something. Oh, you use the capsules? Oh, yeah. I learned something. So, um, uh, a way to get around that because I don't know what I didn't know yesterday how to um, get into the mirror of the screen. So, we're going to do something different. But while I'm pulling that up, while I'm pulling that up to do something different, wait a minute, not that. Let's see. While I'm pulling it up, I want to tell you what the um, subject is. The subject gonna be saving money. Saving money. Let's see. Okay, there we go. Look, look what I learned how to do, y'all. Look at me, I'm cool. <laughs> so um saving money. Saving money because um wait, let me do it over here. Saving money. Because eating for your blood type and taking care of your body helps you to save money as well. And I'm going to teach you how it's going to help you save money. People be trying to tell you, oh no, being a vegan or doing this and that in the church is so expensive. They're lying. They're lying. Look at me, y'all. Look at me. Look, let me, let me fix my mic. <laughs> so, saving money... Saving money is something that we really should be thinking about doing right now in these times with all kind of crazy stuff going on in physical reality. And I'm going to share with you how important it is to eat for your blood type and how you are indeed saving money. You might not be thinking about the way that you're saving money, but you really, really are. And, and, and you know, also, before I begin, I want to share with y'all, I know y'all have been through y'all feed and I know y'all see how the, you know, currency is, 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 is is you know the u.s currency is about to be no more it's the you know it's going to crash and all of this here and you should go out and get the gold and and da da da, da. then you might get ripped off over there because so you got to be wise over there because you know they have some some shices out there as soon as something you know new come out they want to set up their website and get you you know so you got to be careful buying gold you know from these new little pop-up websites 
And not only that, you know, the interest rates fluctuating, you know, you, you're working and you don't like your job no more. So much is going on in our physical reality where it's causing us to be in a fearful state of being. But I want to share something that a lot of people ain't talking about. You got to make sure that you have some resources. You got to be wise as a serpent, but yet as gentle as a dove. You got to make sure you know how to get you some water. And if you don't know how, you should be stocking up in your house. You should be having cases of it. That way, at least you will have some if, if, if all hell breaks loose. You need to learn how to plant at least two or three things. And it should be giving you fruit. And I'm not just talking about fruit per se. I'm talking about fruit from whatever it's that's growing. Like for example, some, some maybe some lettuce, you know, some some kale, some a banana tree, um, a key lime tree, something like that. But most importantly, you really need to be working on eating for your blood type and stopping those cravings and the pathogens that's inside of your digestive system that make you want to go and get some ice cream because you feel in some kind of way. Because there's going to be a moment where maybe you ain't going to be able to go to the store and get no ice cream. Then what you going to do? You going to bug out? You going to be tripping? It's going to be maybe a moment where the store might be closed and you can't get your meat. You have your meat eaters. You got you to gotta practice skipping a day without your meat before it get to a moment in your physical reality. Hey, 66. It gets to a moment in your physical reality where those things aren't readily available. And what you going to do? Die next to let some lettuce? You going to pass out next to an orange right there? Because you, you never begin to eat for your blood type. And so now you have all of these cravings inside of you. You know what I mean? You got these cravings. You want some chocolate. But the banks and crash. Nobody don't want to take your new currency. Your old currency, rather. They don't want to take your cash. And what you going to do now? You know, Popeye's clothes. What you going to do? You got you to gotta think about these things. When and, and I'm not trying to get you on the bandwagon of being vegan. I'm trying to get you on the bandwagon of saving your life. Because it's going to be a day when I ain't going to be able to pop up on the screen and tell you, okay, you need to go over here to get this here. Today, I'm telling you, go to the international markets and start there. You could get, they have seeded things there. You could be planting the things at the international market right now from the seed from there. Because Wally World or Walmart, whatever you call it, they, they don't be having no seeded oranges like talking about. So you could go where they do have some seeded things right now left over so that you could save that seed and that you could plant that seed. So that seed could be fruit for you and your family one day if you need it. People telling you these things, you can't, you can't just sit there and be just a listener only because that ain't wisdom. That ain't knowledge. When you start to apply it, that's when it is it's knowledge and wisdom. That's when you're a wise one. So today I wanted to talk about how you save the money when you begin to eat for your blood type. First of all, if you don't know your um, blood type, I put it on your screen right here, how you can get to know your blood type. Because that's a question that everybody was asking I went to three international markets yesterday planning ahead. Yeah, my meals. Perfect. That's a beautiful way to be. Going to the international markets, going to the Mexican places, going, get out of your, your work, regular little ghetto Walmart and go, go a little farther. It might take you 20 minutes to get there, but go a little farther. Because maybe if you come from a black neighborhood or the, or the hood per se, maybe you ain't going to find no vegetables and fruits in your hood. Maybe only the liquor stores over there. When you got to pass the liquor store, pass Walmart up and go where it is. But anyway, on this board, I have, because this is the most common question. The last thing on this board says the Elden at Home Kit. You get that from Amazon. You get the Elden at Home Kit from Amazon. What is that kit for? To find out your blood type. Because they have <laughs> ghetto Walmart. It is ghetto. The stuff you see up in here is so ghetto. The only time when I go there, I be sitting in a parking lot forever because I don't really be wanting to go in the ghetto. But that's the place where I go get my toilet paper because that's really what all Walmart could do for me is give me toilet paper to wipe my ears. That's about it. I ain't messing with their food and stuff. So yeah, it's the ghetto. <laughs> Anyway, and then I buy a whole lot. So I have to go for a long, long time. I buy a whole lot of toilet paper. I, I guess y'all, I'm one of the people y'all complain about in the crisis. Because, yeah, I took all the toilet paper. Because I don't want to only come into the ghetto maybe two times a year. Sorry, I took all of the toilet paper. Anyway, <laughs> the Elden at Home Kit is where you go to get 
your blood um, test. You could take your blood, prick your finger at home, and now you know what your blood type is. You could get a full pack. A full pack is really inexpensive for your whole family, or if you have more than, you know, four people in your family. It's going to be less than the double of these. I don't want to call out numbers because to violate TikTok policies and all that crap. But it's less than two of these here. And it's, it's really, really inexpensive. Now you know yourself. Now you know your blood type. Why is your blood type important? Your blood type is, is important because you need to be eating for your blood type. Well, why do I need to eat for my blood type? Because a chemical reaction happens when you eat food between the food and your blood. And it's causing you inflammation. It's causing that ulcer. It's causing you to be um, full of anxiety and depressed. It's causing it. Your food is causing it. And so different blood types require different types of food in order to have a positive effect on their body after they eat. Right? And so these are the ways that you're going to save money. You're going to save money because you ain't going to be constantly getting that yeast infection, that reoccurring yeast infection. So now you don't have to pay for that, um, that medication. Now you got to stay, you can stay out of Walgreens because now the, the bacteria in your vagina, because keep in mind your gut, you have a whole bunch of yeast in your gut. You're going to show signs of it in your mouth, right? You're going to have thrash on your mouth, right? Yeah, you're going to have that little white coat. So you're going to be the person in the, that is in your bathroom. You got a tongue scrubber. Yeah, you're trying to scrub the yeast off of your tongue. I'm going to just break this down so y'all can understand it. I'm not being ugly, but I got to break it down to lame as term. The, your yeast, your bacteria overgrow because of your pathogens and your gut not being in balance because you don't want to eat for your blood type. It's growing so much all the way up your esophagus that it's showing on your tongue in the morning. So it's showing on your tongue in the morning that you got to overgrowth. Your, your gut is trying to tell you, your body is trying to tell you they're multiplying. They're multiplying so much that, hey, I'm going to show you on your mirror because your tongue is your mirror to your gut. But not only is it a mirror to your gut for the ladies, your vagina is connected to that too. As above, so below. So you constantly getting these yeast infections, reoccurring yeast infections and BV. It's only telling you what's going on in your gut. So now how you saving money? Because I know BV got to be expensive. I know yeast infections got to be expensive because you got to go get the culture tested at the doctor. So now the doctor's office visit, you done saved money there. You done also save money because you, what do they call it? The monostat? You know, you ain't put it, you don't have to put the little boratic acid or whatever y'all put up in there, the garlic, in the, in the, in the, in the chitlins, in the, in the honey or whatever you put up in there that you think the little cow pus cultures or acidophilus that you try to put inside of your JJ from a freaking cow. Okay. All right. Yeah. Y'all do some weird things, but now you saving money on the weird things. Cause now you won't have to do that. Now you understand what people are saying when they say, Oh, the vagina is a self healing organism. Cause yours wasn't healing because it was an overgrowth of yeast or the bacteria vaginosis, right? But when you clean up the gut by eating, by getting the proper balance in there, just by the food, eating the food, it's going to take care of everything else because it's going to clean house for you. It's going to clean house. So you now you got your real herbal monostat seven going on in you just from chewing it, just from drinking the right drinks for your blood type. It's going to clean that up. And now your the integrity of your gut is going to be balanced. Your beneficial bacteria is going to be balanced and outweighing the negative bacteria. And so the yeast infection is going to be the thing of the past. Now you're going to see what they mean when they say, oh, oh my God, I put some, put some little mealworms down and I got a lot of birds in my yard today. I'm so excited. I love birds, y'all. I'm sorry. And so now you're going to understand why they were saying the vagina is a self-cleaning organism. It's self-cleaning. How is it self-cleaning? Based upon your diet, though. You can't be wild and out putting a bunch of things that's going to overgrow your yeast and expect your vagina to be squeaky clean. And so now you don't have to buy all of those feminine hygiene products. You know, the Summer's Eve or whatever else they have out there. You know how you got, got to spray the vagina with perfume? Like what? Your pheromones should be the thing that's drawing people, other men in. <laughs> it's your airborne copulin fluid, your airborne pheromones that should be drawing other people in by your Stench. Your stench is the thing that's supposed to be drawing people in. 
but that's when your stench is in balance and is effectively secreting your balanced energy, not the chitlins, not the pork chop energy. The men don't want to smell the chitlin energy or the pork chop energy. They want to smell your pheromones. That's the thing that have him coming up to you. It ain't your eyebrows. It ain't your skin. It ain't none of that. It's your aura and your pheromones that's drawing people to you like, oh, it's something about her. No, it's not your color red. It's not your nails. No, man, who, who are you? It's something about you. See? So now you're saving money there. You're saving money on your Uber Eats. Because you call Uber Eats every time you see something on a commercial. But if you if you clean up your gut, now you don't have those cravings. So now you don't need to be calling no, no um, not the pork chop energy. Yeah, the pork chop energy. That ain't, that ain't the one. <laughs> but you call Uber Eats every time you see a commercial. And so we are so addicted to food. You know, you know how you know we're addicted. Next time you go down your feed, you see somebody cooking some meat. And you see somebody sauteing some meat or something up that, that looks appealing to the eye. Look how many likes. Look how many comments. Look how many people up in there talking about, oh, that sure look good. You sure making, making me hungry. Look how many people follow through and how many times food things go viral because we are dick. But when, when, when all of this here, stuff happened in our physical reality, when this, this, this dollar, this currency exchange takes place, the people that's addicted to food get, can't get no money to buy their food, then what you gonna do? Well, you gonna go, you gonna go, you gonna go beat somebody because you so animalistic in behavior, you gonna go take, you gonna, you gonna, you, you gonna wild out? <laughs> what you gonna do? You got to start preparing now to be your best self. This go, this life in the physical reality, it, it, it's, it's, it's going to be, it's going to come down to survival of the fittest. And that survival of the fittest ain't just, they ain't just, you know, you being conscious. It's survival of the fittest in your diet too. Survival of the fittest with your mindset. Survival of the fittest with, with, with your credit. Survival of the fittest in every aspect. So now you're also saving money because you ain't calling Uber Eats now since you're eating for your blood type. You're saving money on all your snacks and your pleasure food because now you, you don't really have like a pleasure snack per se. Now you're not eating as much because now your stomach has shrunk back to its natural size instead of you wilding out and having that stomach. The biggest area on your body. It's not supposed to be like that. We have, we have, we come to a point in our life where we look like little, little tires in the middle. Little spare tires in the middle of our body. That lets you know something clogged up. That lets you know that something ain't, ain't flowing. So we saving money on, on Uber Eats. We saving money on those extra snacks. We saving money on that blood pressure medication. We saving money, saving money of constantly going to the doctor with that copay. We saving money. On that back breaks because now our back is, is, is hurting. We saving money on those eye glasses every year. I used to wear eye glasses, but now we saving money because we ain't got to get a new pair each year. We don't even have to carry that kind of insurance no more. Why? Because we saving money. We insured our own self because we're eating for our blood type. We saving money. We saving money because now we're not eating high fructose corn syrup, which is tricking our brain into thinking that we're hungry when we're really full. We saving money because now we're off of drugs because that's the drug. That's the leading drug right now. High fructose corn syrup. That's the drug of choice. We save money when we get off of drugs. We're not buying the drug and we're not manipulated no more by the drug to make us eat more stuff. We saving money by eating for our blood type. So the people out there that's talking about, oh, it's expensive to go vegan. What? Are you serious? It's expensive when you wasting your money on them constant yeast infections, them, them doctor's bills, that meat, that meat that you have to have in every bite. Not that you don't, you, you don't have to ever, you shouldn't ever eat meat again. 
If you want to eat meat, that's fine. But you need to learn how to pull back that gluttonous spirit that you done got hooked to because you was on your drug, your high fructose corn syrup. That's the thing that you spending your money on. That's the thing that's causing you to spend your money. But people, people don't see that part. People don't see that part. It costs a whole lot of money when you can't fit your clothes no more. You got to buy extra sizes. I know. I got a whole bunch of sizes in my closet from 0 up to 14 when I was pissing away money. <laughs> Good stuff. I was just pissing away money. And so and when I was when I went up to 14, I was like, you know what? I'm about to stop. I'm about to stop altogether. I'd be damned if I buy me a 16. I'm gonna do I you gotta get to a point where you refuse to go to the next size. Or you gotta get to a point where you refuse to start wearing joggers now because now joggers could stretch you into or tight. Now that you could you could just stretch into any size and you could wild out. You oh I'ma just wear something comfortable when I go eat because I'm gonna just stretch my stomach so far out that I know it's gonna pop my pants. We gotta get past that point. Since eating for my blood type, I don't have cravings. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. That's going to help somebody. 66 on this year, on this year live on God is just be healthy. She says, since eating for my blood type, I don't have cravings. The seven day meal plan is posted on this board. My website is at the top for those that may ask. Everything is right here if you have those same questions that were stopping me from moving forward on my other lives. The website address, sortoftheearthpub.org. Once you find out your blood type, you start with your seven-day meal plan. It tells you everything. Everything that's beneficial for your blood that's going to stop that inflammation. You're going to feel good immediately. It is my promise because I live this life. I live this life. I want to show y'all some pictures today. I'm going to show y'all some pictures today. That's what, that's another benefit of having this here. Let me see if I can do this on both pages. See if I could do this again. Let's see. Um, effects. Let me go right here. Okay, let's see if I can show you some pictures when I used to be, when I used to couldn't breathe. When I used to couldn't breathe and just sit down. That's good because that's all I got. I got just sit down pictures. Let me see if I could do this here. Just some sit down pictures. There we go. There we go. That's one of my little sit down pictures. You see how I spoiled my face was? All I did was sit down. Just sit down. Yeah, when you're big, you just won't sit down. Ooh, where the chair is at? That's, that's what you say. Where the chair is at? I just won't be comfortable. That's what we say. Here's, here's one on this page. Let's see. There we go. So, yeah, that's my little sit down. That's my little, ooh, I can't. I can't, I can't breathe now. I can't breathe. I was pretty though. Thank you. Thank you, Grateful. I was, I was still pretty though. You see it now? Uh, yeah. Yeah. But I couldn't breathe though. I couldn't breathe. No, yeah. But y'all looking at the cute, the cute. Oh, I made myself up. Ooh, I finally put that makeup on. I finally found somewhere. See, you don't know what be going on. You don't know what be going on in people's mind, in the people's body. I looked good, but I couldn't breathe. And people were saying, oh, girl, that way you look good on you. And I'm like, look, I'm leaning on the side of the chair right there. I'm leaning on the side of the chair right there, though. Y'all talking about, oh, I look good, but I couldn't breathe. And, you, you know, I used to wear glasses, too. I used to wear glasses. Here, here's me with my glasses. I used to go I used to go back and forth with the glasses thing. I wore eyeglasses. Let me show y'all that over here. I wore eyeglasses. What a glasses picture. Here we go. Here go me wearing my glasses. I'm at work. That's when I was working in construction at Interdi in New Orleans, Louisiana. I was a, a service a dispatcher for the linemen. And I did their payroll and everything. I'm at my little desk with my little glasses on. With my little stomach hurting. Feeling like I was about to bust. <laughs> I can't wait to get rid of my glasses. Keep going, I promise. Because your gut, your gut. The ability to, to absorb and eliminate happens in your gut. And when it gets a little cloudy, that's when your eyes get cloudy. Because like I say, if, as within, so without. When, it, when, we, when we have the, the gout and the, and the eyeglasses and, 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 and the swollen lip notes, all of that bring us back to this here gut. 
Because the gut is so important, they be having pathogens in our gut. We be having little parasites in our gut. The doctor ain't gonna tell you this here, but the gut needs to be so imbalanced that it's, it's discouraging microbial imbalances. The gut needs to be so imbalanced. This is what the doctors, when, when they say 70 to 80% of the immunity lies in the gut. It's like that because inside of your gut, you're supposed to have beneficial bacteria, critters fighting for your life. But if the critters that, that the beneficial ones fighting and they getting their ass beat, you're going to see it on your body. They're going to tell you, hey, I'm getting my ass beat up in here. Hey, is anybody going to help? With this microbiome diversity up in here, because I don't even have any digestive enzymes to put to put the put this stuff down to the large and small intestines. Is anybody gonna help me? That's what the gut saying. <laughs> I'm on the website now at work. I want the seven day meal plan. Yeah, yeah. A positive and herb. Okay, before you order that, I'm glad you posted. Before you order that, if you get if you get the seven day meal plan, the um, herbal portion comes with, portion comes with it. So don't order both. Read the um, read the um, description of what you're getting. Here's another picture. Read description of what you're getting because seven day. Oh, I just took that off the screen. But on a previous screen, I had that I have the seven day meal plan. It comes already with a seven day meal plan examples. The examples from Sunday through Saturday. You get meal ideas. You inside of those ideas, I'm talking about breakfast, fruits, lunch, herbal teas, dinners, the oils that you need to be using and everything is in that meal plan already. At the bottom of that, or well, the third page of that, you're gonna get the things that you do not consume because if you consume those things, you're gonna cause instant inflammation in your body. Do not consume these things. At the very bottom, you'll see your herbal potion, but it's included already. So now you have your herbal potion already. On my website, I have just for people who only want the herbal potion and they don't want to participate in the seven-day meal plan, maybe because they sick. Maybe they just want to get healed right now to get up out of the bed. So I made it inexpensive for them to just to get their herbs for their blood type that's going to open up that gallbladder duct that's going to allow because they have a, the a, a oil of their choice for their blood type that's going to allow lubrication to take place so that gallbladder duct will begin to release all of them toxins out of that liver that that kidney will be soothed from all of the acids that they've been consuming so that inflammation could subside and it has herb, herbs inside of it plus my alchemist oil that they would have to purchase to make up this concoction. And all of that will kill parasites, get rid of the lipid coating virus that be in normally in people's gut after they done decrease the, like, um, the microbiome diversity and they don't have any beneficial bacteria in animal. Well, guess what? They got critters crawling around up in here with this wild and not just taking over. So if you get the seven day meal plan, you already covered. That's the, that's the biggest value of them all. You already covered. Unless you overweight too. Now, the only way you get two things when you get the seven-day meal plan is the other instant cheat code. So if you're overweight, if I was overweight, obese, or whatever, I would get the seven-day meal plan so I'll know everything that's healthy for me, my oils and everything. But the instant cheat code, instant weight loss cheat code is for those that are overweight that have that extra skin that have that protruding belly so that when they eat those type of foods on the instant cheat code list that that'll tighten up with them that they that they will lose weight instantly if they just eat those things that are beneficial for them but people that are obese you know they, they're a little bit hungrier than others so i would say get both of them that way you can't go wrong with nothing that you eat from either list but i would say eat more of the things on the instant weight loss list for you to lose weight instantly I hope that makes sense for y'all. <laughs> thank you, thank you. What size were you and how much did you lose, if you don't mind me asking? Well, I was normally like a little, oh, let's keep going. I was normally like a little bitty lady all my life. I was 110. Let me go, let me show you when I when I finally lost the weight over here. I was 110 forever. Let me see if I had it. So when I first lost weight, I went down 
I went down drastically. That's me when I was getting prepared for my um, book signing at um, Bones and Nova right there. And so my weight, we ended up going up to 162 pounds. That might not sound a lot, like a lot to people who, you know, who are bigger and taller, but you got to keep in mind, I'm a little lady. I'm 5'2 in the physical reality. I'm very, very short. So 162 pounds was too much for me on top of the fact that I could not breathe. Okay. I could not breathe. I'm making my, um, lectin detox breakfast. There you go, Miss B. And so I love it. I love it. So I couldn't breathe, right? Okay, thank you. You're welcome, baby. I'm glad you caught that. That's what I was checking to see if you caught that. So I couldn't breathe was my thing. I could not breathe. So when I went cold turkey, though, y'all, I didn't I didn't play around. You know, I'm a bee um, blood type. And I am really, the bees are the, really the most diverse blood types that they have. You know, we could eat from a different range of foods, you know. We could eat meats and dairies, you know, is what I'm saying. All kind of fruits and vegetables. It's so diverse. B blood type represents balance, right? So, and we also can avoid or escape um, sicknesses and diseases a little bit stronger and better than other blood types because we don't have those little, those like lacks of hydrochloric acid. Like, for example, like the AIDS. We don't have the lack of the hydrochloric acid that's causing an overabundance of mucus. And we also are not like the O's who have too much acid that could possibly call them, cause them those peptic ulcers, right? right? So we're right there in the middle, balance. And so, but still for me, I was never eating vegetables, never eating fruits, you know? So I had an abundance of mucus. I was not eating for my blood type, didn't know what certain vegetables was. Hadn't had it, just living off of a life based upon what mama and grandma and them taught me. And going to fast food, you know, living in New Orleans, soul food, flavor food, eating bottom feeders, you know, like crawfish and catfish and, you know, the bottom feeders, oysters. You know, that's the place in New Orleans, that's what they do. It's the swamp land, so they pretty much eating the stuff from the swamp. But at the same time, that's the place in that culture is killing the people there because we all had diabetes well they all had diabetes all had kidney issues all had high blood pressure it was a common thing everybody had it you know so here we are so i, I went to 162 starting from 110 forever i was 110 forever and i went up to 162 and this is when i st um just stopped eating meats I just, just, just stopped. I just knew something was about, something was different about what I was eating. And I, um, <laughs> and I had to find my balance. Now this was before I found out about coconut oil. Coconut oil has been a lifesaver for me. Now keep in mind, coconut oil is not beneficial for some blood types, but it is not actually the best for my, me as a B blood type, but it gave me those healthy fats. The saturated fats that I needed when I got to this place, and this is why you're a vegetarian. Nah, I'm kind of like a fruitarian more than anything. But this is why I I consume coconut oil, and it doesn't harm me and give me excess mucus. The reason why I look a little pulp now is not that I'm eating meat now. It's because I consume coconut oil, and that's my healthy fat. I love me some coconut oil. Coconut oil and some coconut water for me because I'm not a meat eater. But for meat eaters, you you don't need you don't need that. You already, especially for AIDS, you don't need that because you already have excess mucus in your body that you're trying to rid yourself of. But for me, coconut oil gets me a little bit more plump and it fills me up without actually filling me up, if you know what I mean. What about O? Oh, what about them? Let's see. So let me show you. Um, let me show you something else. So that, that's me in the very beginning. That's me in the very beginning. And then I started, you know, I started looking a little bit more plump here. A little bit more plump here. Still skinny. See what I mean? When I get skinny, er, my collarbones start to um, protrude out a lot. So that's why I, I love to have my coconut oil too. Because you see how them collarbones, them damn neck bones, boy, they be so pointy. They'll, they'll just shoot out on me like. But this is a transition of the things, you know, the things that my body was going through. What do I do for protein? I eat or probably pretty much drink my protein. That's another reason why I go to coconut um, 
coconut oils and coconut water. I have cases all behind here, all on the counter of coconuts because coconuts is where you get the amino acids. When people talk about amino um, protein, they're really looking for the building block of muscle called amino acids. I get my amino acids from my coconut water. I drank maybe about four, four to five, probably six coconuts, probably a day. I love me some fresh coconut water. Coconut water is very high yielding um, fruit for the body. It hydrates the body at a cellular level. It gives me high electrolytes and it gives me my amino acids. Outside of that, it's things like hemp seeds that I consume to, you know, my sesame seeds, you know, all the herbs or plant-based protein, you know, my red Swiss core that I consume, things like that, my fruits, you know, you're getting that from your food always when you're more or less a fruitarian and you're drinking and eating the right thing or eating for your blood type, period. You're getting everything you need in those foods, everything. Every three to maybe three to four times a year, I might consume like a, a meat and the only two that I would would be like maybe turkey bacon it gotta be turkey or some Ad wild Atlantic salmon those are the only two meats that I really consume I on a video one some of y'all probably saw a video of me trying to cook some cod that I had never had in my life and then and I was showing that little parasite that was in the fish on that video well I tried cod one day and it ain't work so those are the only two means, my turkey and my um, wild salmon. Because after I saw the little, the little critter up in there that I shared with y'all how, you know, how to destroy, then I had lost my appetite that day and I didn't even eat that day. So to be honest with you, I don't eat every day either. That's another thing I'm getting to. I don't eat every day. I don't. I drink. And, I drink and consume like fr real fruit juice every day, but I don't eat every day. That's another thing. You got to get to a place where your stomach shrunk so much that food is overrated. Because let me tell you, when that sun, that S-U-N sun energy get up there at its highest peak, you ain't, we ain't seen nothing. And I'm in the desert. We ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> as far as how, how the um, frequency of this universe about to be. But the sun is going to get hotter. What are you going to do when the sun is hot? Your money don't, 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 ain't worth nothing. Or maybe they're not accepting your type of currency no more. And you overweight and you talk about you, you wish Popeye's was open. You want a, you want a bloody steak. Gotta get out that mindset. Cause that son gonna tell you up. You gonna be the one of the ones that get lost by the wayside. If you don't, on, by the wayside, if you don't get your mind right now. And the path to getting your mind right is starting now to eat for your blood type so that stomach can start to shrink, uh, um, shrink back where it is, where it once was, so that you can get an increase in your microbiome diversity. So that so now you, inside of your gut, is discouraging microbial imbalances. And now you are enhancing your carbohydrate metabolism. You have energy. You can tolerate the sun. Because those people, whether they're the, the old people that can't tolerate the sun, you say, oh, you know, you know, put a shade on those old people has been through so much of toxicity. That's why they can't tolerate the sun. The sun is I'm talking about older black people because of the darker you are, the more tolerant you should be of the sun. If you sit up there and say you can't take the freaking sun, that's let you know that you are a level of toxic that you should not be because I could bake in the sun and I'm not the blackest black that I would like to be. I want to be purple black. I wish I was purple black because I love that skin so much. But I'm a little brown little lady in this physical reality and I can sit and I can bake out in the desert sun for hours. I can go to, I'm talking about Arizona desert sun for hours where it get over 114 degrees sometimes. So you got to check yourself. And this is how I know because when I was sitting on that on that that other picture, when I was just sitting down trying to look cute and couldn't breathe, I couldn't take no sun. I'm like drenching wet. My like, girl, come on, let's go inside, cause I, I it's too hot. So that's how another way you could test yourself. You are you, you black people. You children up the sun. What you mean you you the sun too much for you? 
I can see the lighter hues not being able to tolerate it, but black people, that's when you know you're toxic. That's when you know. <laughs> that's a sign. Yeah, what about, oh, what do you do for protein? Oh, I answered that already. When I started a little over a month ago, I was 330 pounds a day. I'm 298. I'm blood type A. Oh, and you are A? That's motivation for you, um, uh, uh, grateful. She the lost weight over here. Oh, no, that's a man. That's Steven. Oh, okay. That's what's up. I'm so proud of you. Yeah. Yeah. I'm out in this Florida sun listening to you. You are. That's beautiful. Wait, let me put up another picture. Time to move this here picture because I got to get back to my main one for the other people. So uh, this here, this me right here feeling myself now because I had started working out. I had got my little, my little energy back. At this point in my journey, I was like, you know what? I'm embracing the fact that I done lost this weight, you know, because when I first lost the weight, people tend to be, you know, that I was, um, you know, cracky looking because, you know, they used to be being plump. I lost my little ass, or should I say my ass sets, and so black men wasn't even looking at me no more. I had a whole bunch of white men that wanted to marry me because I had to cut all my hair off my head. <laughs> I was skinny, you know, I had a little bit of booty, so I went to another whole culture of people that wanted to, you know, date me and stuff. And I was like, man, this is crazy. The black people think that I'm on crack now and the white people like me. And, and so I got to a point, I was like, you know what? I don't care what nobody say about me. I am who I say I am. And, and I began to work out and begin to tone my muscles, you know? And so I was feeling myself in front, of, in front of the door that day, just looking down at my body or whatever. But that's how it be though. And y'all, y'all laughing, but y'all know that to be true. In the black community, it's like that. You lose your assets and then black men will tell you. But it's crazy that we're, our cultures are so different because it's crazy how I watch people eat, you know, how you see white people when they're preparing dinner, they always have a fresh salad, you know, the ones that I know, maybe, maybe not all of them, but the little uppity ones that I knew, because you got to keep in mind that I'm a little uppity in a sense because the white people that I knew came from corporate America, like, right? And so... And those people, I would watch them and they would always want a fresh salad and, you know, they would get their little glass of wine afterwards. And, but they had balanced meals with their meat and their vegetables and stuff. Black people in our community, we eat the ones that I was around. I'm not saying all. The ones that I was around, they were eating so chaotic and I ain't never, we, I wasn't used to that. The, the salad before, you know, the meal and, and you know, the, the, the different choices of um, vegetables and different things on the plate. The diversity of it all so i begin to think i'm like dang it's something how our culture love the big ass they love the big chicks but then other cultures they they want you to be you know skinny pretty much with a little bit of booty and and, and, and and you know and more of a healthier frame so i just got to a point where i didn't really care what no culture cared about me it was about my health it was about my ability to breathe. It was about my ability and quality of life for my children. Because when I got at my heaviest, my, my baby boy told me, he was like, Mom, you ain't fun like you used to be. You ain't fun no more like you used to be. It's because you're getting old, is what he said to me. And that really hurt my heart. That really hurt my heart because I'm like, what? What do you mean am I getting old? Because I was still young. I'm still young. And that was maybe about a good 10 10 plus years ago when I was like in my late 20s when he told me that like around 30 ish, you know, so I'm like, dang, I, I ain't fun no more. Dang, I, I, I act like an old person. And so that really prompted me to kind of like want to change my life after that happened. On top of the fact that I wasn't breathing. On top of the fact that I was in a size 14 and I was like, no, I ain't about to do this here. And so then I dropped from a size 14 and I remember the day when I was in my size 2. And I was like, well, God darn, I said I wasn't going up from the 14. But I'd be damned if I'm going to put on a, a zero and be shopping up in the little kitty section. Oh no, I ain't, I, ain't about to, I ain't about to go buy no little girl, little flower, little underwear, stuff like that there. Whoa. And so I, at that moment, that's when I began to search for like my hemp seeds and my coconut um, oils and, and the things that are stick some weight to me outside of it being me. And that's how I learned about my sesame seeds and the things that helped me gain weight without the meat though. <laughs> the way I'm serious, man. Gain weight without all of that meat. And so I did. And so now I'm here. Now I'm comfortable with where I am. 
Now I can breathe. Now I'm healthy. This is healthy weight that you see on me. This is a bunch of coconut oil that you see on me. This is <laughs> this a bunch of hemp seeds up inside of here. This, this is a balanced immune system right here. This is a good quality of life. Peaceful sleep right here. This is eating for my blood type right here. This is my journey that I'm sharing with you all. My story. This is the truth. The God on is truth. And I know it works because I'm the testimony right here. This is no craving. I have no craving for no high fructose, nothing. I don't eat no ice cream. I don't crave for no chocolate. Matter of fact, I don't like sugar. When I eat sugar, just like your baby, you might not know because your baby can't talk. Just like what's happening to your baby, we get a zap in our brain because we, we automatically know that it is a drug. It ain't a treat to us. We can't tolerate it. So if you have a baby who can't talk and it's making them faces, I'm just trying to let you know what that face mean. We understand it's a drug. To the drug dealer, the drug user, they don't feel that in their head no more because they done got used to and addicted to the drug. But high fructose corn syrup is the drug. I don't have that. People can't, can't, can't offer me. I can't even, I don't even want freaking peppermints with all of that sugar in it. Like, no, like gum. Like, I can't even fool around with that. If I won't, and, I, and then you eat your fruit, and so your breath is not foul. You clean up your gut, your breath is not foul, so you don't need that. But if you just wanted something mentally, I'll get me some mint leaves. If I want something mentally, ment minty, I will cut some ginger, a quarter size of ginger, and I'll just pull, I'll just chew on some ginger in the back of my mouth if I, won't, if I wanted that thing. You see, it's a totally different idea or lifestyle. And it's very inexpensive because I'm not eating no breakfast, lunch, and no dinner. <laughs> you're cutting back on costs. You're saving your money. You can do other things with your money. But yet you have your strength and you have the minerals because you're going to the things that's electrifying your already body. And it's not stagnating your energy no more. That is so important, y'all. That is so important because you see these people have re unhealthy relationships with food. And they'll come on TikTok and they'll sit there. I saw a lady, bless her little soul, and she's a cute little black little lady. Y'all probably saw it too because she got millions of people behind her. And she just comes on and she'll sit there and she'll be having her little out of balance meal for her blood type. And she's swole. She got these big old cheeks. And I know that she has this ease and disharmony with them, them kidneys because them kidneys can't be filtering all of that fast enough for her as big as she is, but in as short as she is. And she's sitting there and she's, she's, she's saying, how do you like your daddy or, or babe or whatever she calls her partner? Her partner don't be on the TV, but she'll sit there with this overflowing plate. And she just sits and eats in front of us. But see, see, see that be a phase that people, when they at their largest go through, they'll call it body positivity. But what is positive about you tearing up your immune system? What is positive about your lymphatic system being so swollen that now you have cankles and now you have these, these cysts and these boils inside of you and your lymphatic system is all swollen. Nothing is positive about that. I don't care how pretty you look. Nothing is positive about you causing this ease and disharmony to your body because you can't control what you put in your mouth. Nothing is positive about that. And we can go back to Monique. Remember back in the day, the Monique, the little comedian, comedian lady, she used to say she, she hated skinny bees. She hated skinny bees was a joke in comedy. Remember that? But now you see her on these social media platforms and all she doing is with her older days is trying to be one of them skinny bees. Every time you see her, she jumping up and down with a little fitness trainer person that she, she be on a little social media platform with. I guess that's her, her personal trainer. Dancing and doing jumping jacks and skits and stuff. Trying Tabaka Brown, little sunshine seasoning and stuff. Oh, she always sweat, trying to sweat. Just every time you see her, she sweated. But her joke was she hated the skinny bees. <laughs> you see it, Stephen? She hated the skinny bees. But it caught up with her in her lymphatic system. That imbalance inside of her gut, it finally caught up with her. She finally figured it out. Don't wait till it's too late. Don't wait till you get a sickness or disease to come for you to figure it out that you need to be eating for your blood type. Don't wait till the currency exchange come and you ain't got no money to buy your steak no more and you, you hungry and don't you sit there in the backyard next to a garden or next to a fruit tree and you sit there talking about you hungry and die because you, you, you don't eat no fruits and vegetables. But they have food that mother is willing to give to you. 
Once you eat for your blood type, you begin to, to crave more or less good quality nourishment from mother nature. You don't see, you don't see the birds on the air fighting once one another. You don't see them walking around, oh, I'm so, I'm so hungry. Because Mother Nature take care of them. And if it'll take care of them, it'll take care of you. <laughs> By yielding what you want. And this is an act of love. This is an act of you grounding yourself. This is an act of you getting connected back to source. Where you come from. Come out of her, my people. <laughs> That's about you. Coming out of your great sleep. A lot out of your gluttonous spirit for food. Come out of her, my people. <laughs> this is the season for you to come out of her, my people. You know what I'm talking about from the biblical text these times. Come out of her, my people. Or you're going to be destroyed. I promise you it's survival of the fittest. It's survival of the fittest. Yep, I've seen her. Yeah. Yeah, Stephen. Yeah, it's definitely a different way of eating, living on the East Coast. Yeah, yeah, it really is. It really is. And, and I and I say, you know, like down south, they really, they really eat different. It's so seasoned, it's so flavorful, and that's home for me. But even when I was there, I just knew it was something more outside of that box of limited thinking. I didn't know what it was when I was on my journey. That's why I stopped eating every darn thing and tried to reset my mind and my my thoughts the way I thought food was supposed to be presented to me because I knew it had something to do with the food while I was going back and forth to the hospital for, you know, all kind of sicknesses and diseases, you know, you know, for constant mucus, you know, for vertigo. What the hell? I was like, what the hell is vertigo? Why the hell am I, why the hell am I spinning? What the hell? Why is the room spinning? So much of mucus inside of you. They come up with all kind of little labels, little names of different things. So much of mucus that I'm sitting up there spinning. My blood pressure got so low that I couldn't even take a freaking hot shower without passing out. Like, what the hell going on with me? Like, is it the water? What is it? What is it now? You know, why is it that my pain, my periods were so painful? It was because of the level of toxicity within me. A lot of people get on here and be like, oh, you got to watch the water. You got to watch this. You got to watch that. You got to watch that. No, it is you. It is you not eating for your blood type. It's you not being accountable for what you put it in your mouth because you like the fact that you're killing yourself with the fork. Because when you kill yourself with the fork, it feels good to do it because you're getting a dopamine effect because of the drug that you own. So it feel good when you do your high fructose corn syrup while you're kidding yourself softly. And then you come and you 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 gotta tell everybody on social media, we're gonna die anyway. How about living first? How about having a good quality of life first? <laughs> it matters. It matters instead of putting your children and your grandchildren or your caretakers through all of this stress to take you to the doctor. Taking all of your money, wasting all of your money by paying the doctor. Pay that farmer market instead. You're going to pay somebody. But how about you pay the farmer's market instead of the doctor? <laughs> and that way you have something to eat. Instead of being in debt and owing these medical bills for nothing when you have your healing right there outside. It don't make no sense. So that's, 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 that's me preaching today, y'all. The, the message today was eat for your blood type so you can save you some money. <laughs> okay? That's the message. So how y'all doing? Y'all saving money out there? Who's saving money? Anybody? Anybody saving money like me? Anybody ain't, ain't, ain't been to the, to the doctor this year yet? Who, who haven't been to the doctor yet? For, for I don't care, a cold, a, a nothing, a, a scratch, a nothing. Anybody? Anybody haven't been to the doctor yet? Cause I call that saving money. Anybody saving? Nobody saving? All y'all, all y'all spending y'all money on the doctor? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm here to help you. I'm here to help you save. And this is the way to save. Oh, okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Big Mo save. Miss being so save. Just ordered my meal plan. I'm so happy for you, Dwayne. Yeah. Hey, Zara. Yeah. Lorna says, yeah, that's beautiful. 
Candy saved. I'm on my way to saving. Well, at least you're on your way, baby. I love that comment, JC. I'm on my way. JC, JC said, wait for me. I'm on my way to saving. Save your money. Get your life back. Get your quality of life back. Get your peaceful sleep back. Grateful say that she go. I was waiting for you. I was like, I know she's saying, but where's she coming? <laughs> yes. Zara says, I'm saving. Save your money. Start your business. Get into your passion with your money. Do something for you with your money instead of giving it away back into the system that's causing you to be sick. Oh, that's okay, Grateful. That's causing you to be sick. Save your money. Be right for your blood type. Big Mo, yeah, thank you, thank you. Yeah, Big Mo own it. So somebody asked, what about the O's? And so I was talking a little bit briefly about the O's. They have really a, um, a strong high, um, digestive system with hydrochloric acid. But at the same time, they, they're the ones that end up with those thyroid issues too, heavily. They're the ones that end up with pep peptic ulcers too heavily because that hydrochloric acid could get out of hand for them if they're not eating for their blood type. So all of the esophagus, they, they'll, they'll be the ones with like the throat type esophagus, you know, ulcer type sicknesses and diseases. And so it's so important that you find out the beneficial um, uh, meals or foods, even down to the oils, the nuts, the uh, vegetables and fruits, you know, the dairy, if you can consume some or not, you know, because like um, it's grateful. You know, she don't, she's in the A's. Her and Miss B and so, they're A's. And my friend Molly Mall, I don't know if Molly Mall here today. But they're A's. And so they have real sensitive digestive systems. And so they really can't consume. There is really no meat. You know how I talk about the highly beneficial um, foods. As far as meats are concerned, the A's don't even have not one. But they have some neutral ones that won't cause inflammation. Kind of like chicken. Chicken is a neutral one for them. But chicken for me as a bee will cause a lot of inflammation. It is highly considered to be avoided by the bees. You see what I'm saying? So that's why it's so important for you to know what your blood type is and what foods, you know, like turkey. Turkey will be like more like a neutral, you know, turkey or chicken for like an A or B. But as far as highly beneficial meat everybody else besides the a's have highly beneficial meats that they can consume everybody else it's just amazing a's they're really sensitive because they really have a digestive system that's really aching to them being a vegetarian they're really the true fruitarians and vegetarians in physical form based upon their blood type based upon the chemicals that happen the chemical reaction that happens when they consume a certain food when it reacts to their blood, they either get an inflammation from it, likely, if they're eating different types of crazy meats. Or they're getting anxiety, they're getting depressed, they're gaining weight, they got a whole bunch of mucus production. And life, life is unbearable. But what life could be a great quality if people know this. This is the key to it all, if they know this. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, so interesting. I always gravitated to like seafood naturally. Yeah, I felt sick eating other if other animals. Yeah, and so, and look, Miss Grateful, that she is. My system is the happiest when I juice a lot. See, it's more like, they're like, more like fruitarians or vegetarians. And that's, my system is happiest and I'm a bee. My, I, I feel like everybody would be happy when they're consuming a whole bunch of fruits. So, I really do. I feel like that's a universal kind of like, thing for everybody every blood type when they consume a lot of fruit juices i'm talking about like real fruit that's juiced i'm not talking about nothing in a grocery store um that have no high fructose corn syrup not that kind of juice but i have a question over here about the a's and i want to look right quick on my um on my meal plan before i answer it i see that question right there because i'm not an a and um i just want to verify but i think so I just don't want to, I want to know, so I'm going to know in a second if, as soon as I look it up right here. Let's see. The turkey. 
I want to see what level what level is in because they have highly beneficial levels then they have like a neutral level and then they have the level where you just have to avoid that thing and I try to um, share the highly beneficial um, so that people could get the most out of you know their transition for their new lifestyle and then the ones that they need to avoid so the people could avoid kind of like you know yeah I figured that yeah it is for the A it is chicken and turkey that is neutral for the A for the meat so yeah they have um neutral things for A since y'all um since y'all can't really have much of nothing <laughs> they have um I don't know if y'all eat this stuff though chicken chicken of course is neutral chicken liver Cornish hen uh squab whatever kind of animal that is and turkey so guinea hen ostrich i don't know if y'all eat all of that kind of stuff so pretty much the chicken and the turkey is the neutral um in um things for the aids it's neutral meaning it's not going to cause inflammation for them or it's not highly beneficial for them it'll be okay based upon their blood type but at the same time, they would be so much better just kind of like sticking to the fruits and the vegetables that they really are highly, that are highly beneficial for them. So they don't have to even worry about having to try to digest that. But if they really, really want some meat, they should go to the neutral turkey or the neutral chicken. They should not be running over there to no pork. Pork will mess them up. Pork is going to mess them up. Beef go mess them up because they sensitive digestive system. They can't really put that down because they lack hydrochloric acid. And even if they had hydrochloric acid tearing that down, it, the, um, the production of mucus that will still be forming based upon them eating the meat, they'll still have to have like a bunch of key limes just to kind of loosen that mucus up to get it to go down the large and small intestines. That's just how their body is, you know. You got to pay attention and eat for your blood type. They got people on here that be telling you to try this, try that. But if it ain't in alignment with your blood type, you going to be the one in that country saying, well, it didn't work for me. You know, every time I see those, those try this challenges or whatever, I go straight to the comments. Like they got one with the lemon juice, lemon, olive oil, and cayenne pepper that's going around. People doing it for seven days. And I think about the maids. I think about the A's and I'll be like, Lord, I hope the A's don't try this foolishness because the cayenne pepper, the A's can't tolerate that. And sure enough, I'll see in the comments the people that say, oh, it, it, it upset my stomach so bad. And oh, oh, I can't tolerate it. Oh, this and that. It didn't work for me. Da, da, da. And I say to myself, oh, that go A. That go A. Because once you learn the different, you know, types and, and what they can tolerate and what they can't, you just know. Like, so when I go to the gym, then I see the, oh, I see somebody looking like a little monkey jumping up and down with you know you know how them people be so good physically strong and, and intense with their workout all ripped and stuff as soon as i see them up in the gym i'll be like oh he he or she they must be an old because them, them that it, 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 i'll be on it <laughs> because if olds like the stringiest workouts you know everybody else just be looking at the olds like oh my gosh could you get down <laughs> stop it because i can't do that you know people want you to stop but they can't do something yeah well in that case i'm i'm guilty i'm people because <laughs> like how you get up there i'm too shy give me a chair or something i, I need a chair to even least try to get up there <laughs> yeah i did try it but now i know better oh you try you try to go and get another um another meat mm-hmm 